Maison has 49 rooms. It's at the northern end of St. Lucia with beautiful views. You can see over to Martinique, incredible sunsets. We were here for five days and everybody in the family loved it. The resort's about an hour and a half from the airport and about 10 minutes from Rodney Bay, maybe the most modern town in St. Lucia, with a pretty good grocery store, a few restaurants, shops, and a marina. This place has a feeling of being a small Mediterranean village, which I love, except for the fact that it's not in the Mediterranean. There are a lot of different room options here, from complete villas, some with their own pools at ground level or on the roof. There are smaller apartment style rooms too, with beautiful walkways leading to many of the rooms. The grounds here are really well maintained. The beach is beautiful. The waves are mellow. The water temperature is perfect. I spent more time in the ocean here than I think I have in a long time. One of the things I love about this beach is the built-in sun lounging deck. You're 30 seconds from the bar. It's great for sleeping and totally relaxing. There are kayaks, paddle boards, hobby cats, and snorkeling equipment available for no extra charge. The kids love this chair hanging from the cliff. The beach restaurant and bar are one of my favorite things about Cap Maison. There's a very Caribbean vibe here, or whatever that means. But the bar's always hopping, the staff's friendly, and we got really lucky and had this steel drum band play one day. <laughs> they were amazing. Our evening dinners here were fun and relaxed. The barbecue they do here is excellent. And a quick pro tip, this restaurant's open to the public, so lunch and dinner can be pretty busy and crowded. Reserve early. The main restaurant's next to the pool on this cliff overlooking the ocean. They serve breakfast and dinner, and there's a bar too. Breakfast was excellent with a really varied buffet, or you can order off the menu. This cat was a big fan of the bacon. You can arrange to have a private romantic dinner in this pavilion.
One of the hardest decisions to make here is where to enjoy the sunset from. Your roof deck, the balcony, on the beach, or maybe from the pool. kitchen to the left here, sink, oven, stove, microwave, full fridge. Uh, this would normally, normally be a sofa, but the kids are going to be on this bed tonight. So this is a one bedroom villa, but it sleeps up to four. And so you can see where the other two people sleep. And beautiful balcony with a really nice view. We're right on the water here. Another dining table out here. lounge chairs. So I'd be, ha I'd be happy hanging just down here, but there's more to see. Okay, we're up here on the second floor now, going into the master bedroom. Bathroom on the left, come back and look at that. It's a walk-in closet in there, so plenty big. Another balcony. Here's the bed. And an even better view up here. A couple lounge chairs. Maybe that's one of the problems here, trying to figure out where you want to hang out. All right, here's the bathroom. Tastefully done sinks. And a really large shower. All right, here we are now on the third floor. Gorgeous balcony. The views just keep getting better as you go up. It's really incredible. A little bit of an outdoor kitchen there. Some lounges for hanging out. But not every place is perfect. And I know this is gonna sound a little bit picky, but the architecture is really carried off nicely. This place is gorgeous, it's undeniable. It's just the Mediterranean, the Mediterranean style doesn't quite fit here. I mean, we're in the Caribbean and this looks like we're in Greece or maybe Spain. The second thing to keep in mind is that there are steep stairs down to the beach. So it's a bit of a hike, it's totally worth it. But anyone with mobility issues is gonna have a problem. And then lastly, you're gonna be having all your meals here unless you wanna take a 10 or 15 minute cab ride into town. And the town's okay, um, but anybody who doesn't like seclusion um, is gonna have issues here. In terms of cost, this place is fairly expensive, but a better deal than some of the other high-end resorts on the island. In terms of sustainability, I'm giving them a six. An eight for food, it was uniformly good. They get an eight for sleeping. The first night we had bad pillows, but I asked and they replaced them with some very good down pillows. A six for Wi-Fi with the download speeds of only three to five Mbps, but it's available all over, including the beach. And they get a nine for being kid friendly. The kids I saw were all having fun. We're recommending the Cap Maison because of the great beach, the fun beach restaurant and bar, the beautiful setting and the spacious rooms. Folks who follow this channel know I lean towards modern architecture, and this ain't that, but they've still done a great job. And maybe for my most subjective comment, the whole family loved this place, and we had a really nice holiday here. Remember, we're supported by our viewers, not the hotels we review. So help us out by smashing that like button, and why not subscribe? Besides this hotel, we have five other hotel recommendations we're making for St. Lucia plus a video overview of the island, what to do, when to come, yada yada. There are links to those videos below. And if you want even more detailed information about this hotel, there's a link below to our website where you can grab a free downloadable PDF.